Say we have to write all the terms in the expansion of x minus 2 raised to the power of 4. Comparing this to the binomial formula that we have on the right hand side here, the first thing we notice is that instead of having x plus 2, we have x minus 2. And when that happens, the first thing to do is to rewrite this as an addition. In other words, we start by saying that this is equal to x plus negative 2, all of which is being raised to the power of 4. Now that that's done, we can compare this to the left-hand side of our binomial expansions formula. And in doing so, we can see that the only difference is that we've replaced a by x and b by negative 2, and finally n by 4. Keeping that in mind, we can now copy the right-hand side of our formula, replacing every a that we see by x, every b by negative 2 in parentheses, and every n that we see by 4. So we write that this equals to the sum from r equals to 0 up to 4 of the binomial coefficient 4 r times x raised to the power of 4 minus r times negative 2 in parentheses raised to the power of r. And the expression to the right of the summation symbol that I'm currently underlining in green is the general term of our binomial expansion, which I call t of r. Defining the general term in this way allows me to state that this is equal to the sum from r equals to 0 up to 4 of t of r. Now, this sum is telling us to add all the terms we obtain by replacing r by all of the integer values between 0 up to 4 included. So that would be t0 plus t1 plus t2 plus t3 plus t4. Just as in the previous tutorial, to obtain each of these terms, t0, t1, t2, and so on, we look back at our expression for the general term, which to be clear is t r equals to the binomial coefficient 4 r times x to the power of 4 minus r times negative 2 raised to the power of r. And so for t0, we replace every r that we see by 0. For t1, we'll replace every r we see by 1. For t2, we replace it by 2. For t3, by 3. And for t4, we replace every r that we see by 4. So that would be t0, so that's 4, 0 times x to the power of 4 minus 0 times negative 2 raised to the power of 0, plus t1, which would be 4, 1, times x to the power of 4 minus 1, times negative 2 raised to the power of 1, plus t2, which would be 4, 2, times x to the power of 4 minus 2, times negative 2 raised to the power of 2, plus 4, 3, so that's t3, times x to the power of 4 minus 3, times negative 2 raised to the power of 3, and finally we add to that t4, which would be 4, 4, times x to the power of 4 minus 4 times negative 2 raised to the power of 4. And at this stage, we've written all of the five terms in this expansion, but we can't stop there. Indeed, we need to simplify each of these terms as much as possible. And for that, I like to start by simplifying all of the powers of x and of negative 2 that we see in each of these terms. And when doing so, it's worth keeping in mind the fact that any number x raised to the power of 0 is just equal to 1, so we can ignore any number raised to the power of 0. And it's also worth pointing out that any number x raised to the power of 1 is just equal to itself, so in this case x. Now with those results in mind, let's go ahead and simplify the powers of x and powers of negative 2. On the first term we have x to the power of 4 minus 0, so that will just be x to the power of 4, times negative 2 raised to the power of 0. Remember, any non-zero number raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1, so we can ignore that completely. Now, in the next term, we have x to the power of 4 minus 1, so that's going to be x to the power of 3, times negative 2 raised to the power of 1. So that's just negative 2. We move on to the next term. We have x to the power of 4 minus 2, so that's going to be x to the power of 2, times negative 2 squared which is equal to 4. We move on to the next term. We have x to the power of 4 minus 3, so that's x to the power of 1, which is just x, 
times negative 2 raised to the power of 3, which will be negative 8. And finally, in the last term, we have x to the power of 4 minus 4, that's x to the power of 0, which is equal to 1, so we can ignore it. And we have negative 2 raised to the power of 4, which equals to 16. So at this stage, we can state that this equals to the binomial coefficient for 0 times x to the power of 4 plus the binomial coefficient for 1 times x to the power of 3 times negative 2 plus the binomial coefficient for 2 times x to the power of 2 times 4 plus the binomial coefficient for 3 times x times negative 8 plus the binomial coefficient for 4 times 16. And all that's left for us to do now is to take care of each of the binomial coefficients that we have. And just as we've seen in our previous tutorials, we can use some shortcuts. Remember, the first and the last binomial coefficient will always be equal to 1, so we can go right ahead and state that. The next important thing to remember is that the second coefficient as we go from left to right will always equal to the second coefficient as we go from right to left, and they will always be equal to the power to which we raise the binomial, so in this case 4. In other words, the binomial coefficient for 1 and the binomial coefficient for 3 are both equal to 4. And so all we have to take care of is the binomial coefficient that we have in the middle here, this 4, 2. And for that, we can use the formula that we have for the binomial coefficient. So let's go ahead. The binomial coefficient for 2 is equal to factorial 4 over factorial of 4 minus 2 times factorial 2. And that's equal to factorial 4 over factorial 2 times factorial 2. And that's equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 times 2 times 1. And the 2s that are on the denominator simplify with the 4 on the numerator, leaving us with 3 times 2 times 1 over 1, which equals to 6. And so we can add that to our expansion. This middle binomial coefficient is equal to 6. And we're now in a position to state our final answer. Indeed, we can go ahead and state that x minus 2 raised to the power of 4 is equal to 1 times x to the power of 4, so that's just x to the power of 4, plus 4 times x cubed times negative 2. Well, this 4 times negative 2 turns into negative 8, so we end up with minus 8x cubed plus 6 times x squared times 4, so that's positive 24x squared, so I write plus 24x squared plus 4 times x times negative 8. Well, 4 times negative 8 is negative 32, so we're adding negative 32x. In other words, that's minus 32x. And finally, we add to that 1 times 16. So we just write plus 16. And we're done. We've just written all five terms in the expansion of x minus 2 raised to the power of 4 using the binomial expansions formula. In our next tutorials, we keep on working through some examples, and each time we'll make it a little bit harder so that we can learn some new tricks. For now, though, that's it for this tutorial.